morning friends i warmly welcome to all of you in the series of mechanics of solids and today's topic is uh, shear stress on beams in the previous session we learned about the shear stress on beams what is shear stress what is shear stress distribution diagram how it will be behaves so same series today we are going ahead so we learned in the previous session about the introduction to shear stress derivation of equation on shear stress and we saw certain numericals related to the basic fundamental equation the today's session objective is that define the shear stress draw the shear stress distribution diagram today specifically for i and t section let us we revise what we learned up till now in case of the topic of shear stress we have seen in the previous session about bending stress in beams we have seen that a part of beam is subjected to a constant bending moment and zero shear force there will be only bending stress in the beam the shear stress will be zero as shear force is zero but in actual practice a beam is subjected to a bending moment which changes from section to section also the shear force on the beam is not zero it also changes from section to section due to this shear force the beam subjected to shear stresses and this shear stresses will be acting across transverse sections of the beam these transverse shear stresses will produce a complementary horizontal shear stresses which will be acting on longitudinal layers of the beam hence beam will also be subjected to shear stresses we have already derived an equation for shear stress variation of shear stress along a section that is tau is equal to f a y bar by i b where f is the shear force which is acting at a particular section as usual i moment of inertia of section b that is the width available at a particular section while a y bar is the moment of area of area above the section that is the moment of area today we are going to discuss the shear stress distribution diagram for specifically i and t section and started with the problem number 7 that an i section beam of 350 mm cross 450 mm has a width thickness of 10 mm and flange thickness of 20 mm if the shear stress acting on the section is 40 kN find the maximum shear stress developed in the section so in this particular problem just visualize that i section figure which has not been given to you we have to plot from the given data and the question which has been asked about to find out the maximum shear stress developed in the section now here the i section which has been given to you and we know that the maximum shear stress which will be taken care at neutral axis neutral layer now as we know that the given i section is symmetrical i section which has been indirectly suggested from the data and the neutral axis lies exactly at the center of the i section we do not have to found out right now because an symmetrical i section which has been given to us so let us we start the overall depth d that is 350 mm given to us overall width b that is 150 mm wave thickness is of 10 mm and the flange thickness which has been 20 mm which has been given to us So if we refer the figure this is the figure which has been given to us Now depth of web that we can found out by 
subtracting the thickness of flange that is the 350 minus twice into 20 that is 310 mm that is the depth of web shear force which is acting on the section which is given in the data that is the 40 kilo newton now we know that the fundamental formula tau is equal to fa y bar by ib we can use this one also this is one of the method another approach we can use the direct formula that we have been derived for the i section and we can find out the answer also so let us first of all find out the moment of inertia moment of inertia which can be found out by taking three different rectangles just visualize this figure if I want to find out the moment of inertia of a given section then I have to find out the moment of inertia of this section this web and this flange about the neutral axis and do the summation or we can take the advantage of the symmetrical I section and I can find out the moment of inertia of whole rectangle first rectangle of size of 150 by 350 and then I have to deduct two different rectangle of size of this 150 minus 10 140 so 70 over here 70 over here so 140 and the depth is of 310 so I have to deduct those two rectangles and I can found out the value of I so which has been shown over here so 150 cross 350 cube by 12 minus 140 into 310 cube by 12 is equal to the answer we obtain the moment of inertia into in the form of millimeter raised to 4 <laughs> now maximum shear stress in the I section is given by an equation tau maximum is equal to F by IB bracket B by 8 bracket capital D square minus small d square plus small bd square by 8 so if an equation is known to us if this equation that we have remembered in our mind we can use directly this equation as f 40 kilo newton converted in terms of newton i can find out 40000 newton divided by i i that we have already found out over here b now we have to found out the maximum shear stress refer the figure the maximum shear stress which is taking place at the neutral axis hence at this stage the value of b is nothing but the width of web that is the 10 mm so here we have taken the b as 10 mm now b by 8 here this b which is used for the flange 150 by 8 bracket 350 square minus 310 square plus this small b and d are to be used for web portion 10 into 310 square by 8 by simplifying very simple equation we can get 13.06 newton per mm square that is the tau max now if it is unable for us to recall this formula then we can find out the same answer by our fundamental equation alternative method that is f a y bar by i b now here f obviously it is 40 kilo newton that is the 40,000 newton but a y bar is nothing but the moment of area above neutral axis because we want to found out the shear stress maximum value which is taken place at neutral axis so moment of the area above the neutral axis we have to take care here the above the neutral axis there are two different parts if i will plot the figure on this tabletop please refer the figure if this is my given i section this is neutral axis I have to take the area this one 
so what I did I will divide the portion into two parts the first part and second part and same thing which has been done over here for the calculation to find out a y bar so please refer this PPT area of flange multiply by distance of the CG of the area of the flange from the neutral axis this is my first part area of flange that is known to us 150 cross 20 multiply by distance of the CG of the area of a flange from neutral axis and that is nothing but 310 it is mistake it is not minus sign it is a plus sign 20 by 2 plus area of the wave above neutral axis that is 310 by 2 into 10 this is the area of the wave above the neutral axis multiply by distance of the CG of this area from the neutral axis definitely the web available depth divide by 2 so this is the value of a y bar now simplifying this we got the value of a y bar that is 615 or 125 millimeter raised to 3 we already know the value of i moment of inertia of the whole section that we already found out and width b that is 10 mm by putting all this value in simple equation f a y bar by i b we can found out the value tau max is equal to 13.06 newton per mm square so the same answer we can got that previous answer the thing is about which formula we can use the answers remains unchanged let's go for the next problem an i section beam 350 mm cross 150 mm has a wave thickness of 10 mm and flange thickness of 20 mm. If the shear stress acting on the section is of 40 kN, sketch the shear stress distribution diagram across the section. Also calculate total shear force carried by the wave. Interesting questions. The whole question which has been divided into two parts the first is the sketch the shear stress distribution diagram across the section now for given any i section so if i will plot a diagram over here please refer over here in the table top let this is the one typical i sections which has been given to us and the question which has been asked about to plot the shear stress distribution diagram then this is the typical nature of the plotting of the shear stress distribution diagram this is the diagram and we have to plot this diagram for this given data means we have to found out the value what is this value what is this value what is the central maximum value as the given section is symmetrical then this whatever the value on the top flange the same will be replicated at the bottom so our intention is to find out this values first and then we have to go to the second part that is about calculation of total shear force so if you refer this ppt then this whole problem divided into two parts now what is given data the data overall depth which has been given to us is a 350 mm while overall width that is 150 mm while the web thickness is of 10 mm while flange thickness is of 20 mm so if we plot the diagram this this is the diagram which has been given to us and i think this is the same problem which we have solved a previous case only thing is that in this problem we have to found out the shear stress distribution diagram we have to plot so we have to find out the important location shear stress value and then we have to draw the corresponding diagram depth of the wave we can found out by subtracting the thickness of a flange from the overall depth and we found out as 310 mm 
as usual shear force which has been given to you in this data on this section is of 40 kilo newton also i repeatedly told you that in the previous problem we found the maximum shear stress is of 13.06 mega pascal means uh, please refer on this table top this value this tau value which has been given 13.06 central value at the neutral axis which has been given to us this data 150 oral depth 350 310 this is 10 mm thickness this is 20 mm thickness of flange with this data and these answers which we have already been found out so right now intention is to find out this two different values so please refer the ppt now first one shear stress distribution in the flange the shear stress at the upper edge of the flange is zero it is unanimously known to us that at the top extremity fiber and the bottom extremity fiber the value of shear stress is zero actually shear stress variation in the flange is given by tau is equal to f by 2 pi bracket capital d square by 4 minus y square now for the upper edge of the flange y is equal to d by 2 hence the shear stress tau is equal to we found out by putting the value y is equal to capital d by 2 the bracketed term here the bracketed term becomes 0 hence the tau is equal to 0 please try to understood the things over here right now so refer on this ppt uh, we have to take the value y from the neutral axis now this total is nothing but d 